So I can't even. Nah. And that's where happy is going. Yeah, but that's what I'm, I'm just saying, though. When niggas, you know what I'm saying, right they wrongs and shit, it's like, okay. And, uh, you know, like this Zoe, this Zoe and Corey situation is a good eye opener. You know what I'm saying? Because. They both was wrong, right, in a way. Right? For whatever reason. But instead of instead of Zoe blaming Corey, because the cause the situ and it's funny, they they so what happened on the show is Zoe Williams beat up Aerie Spears. Well not even what's he from here? Look, not even really beat him up. Just gave him a couple little tap-me-ups. But Aries was on the show disrespecting Darlene, calling her a bitch, talking over Corey, just doing real wild shit. Like, he deserved it. Like, first of all, Corey should have stepped in, right? Because it was his show. Yeah. First off. Second of all, Zoe, he might have lost his temper a little bit, but Cuz deserved it. Right. So then, Cor- uh, so then, uh, Ari Spears, you know, tried to sue Corey Holcomb. Uh, Corey Holcomb had to put up a twenty thousand dollar retainer, uh, right? Uh, now, Corey said that Zoe failed to get up with with the lawyers when asked. But, but promised that, I mean, they talked about and agreed that Zoe was to pay the money back. And Corey was like, oh, fam, don't worry about it. Don't forget it. That don't mean you don't owe me, but, you know, I ain't tripping. Right? Right. This is like three years ago. This shit happened. So last week or two on the show, they had gotten to, they had got into it. And they got into it because Zoe was telling Corey, don't put the other niggas' business out there like that. Handle that shit between each other like men. Right? Right. Like, cuz got a show. He got a livelihood. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to tarnish, you know what I'm saying, his name and his image and, and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all got a personal beef. Work that shit out. Right. And then that turned into, oh, well, nigga, you the weakest link because you owe me because because I because I had to pay that two thousand. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, he went he went in on Zoe, right? You can't do that. And he was to- he was totally out of line, totally disrespectful, totally. totally some shit that you're not supposed to do if you call somebody your friend. That's your man. Yeah, that's your man. Right? So, Craig Smith, he was on the show, and he got his own show, so they both went to Craig's show uh, separately. And uh, Zoe said some real shit. He said, uh, it happened to be a crip in the blood on the show, like banging on wax. They had an album out. And he's like, okay, man, okay. he like, man, if these niggas can patch it up after literally shooting at each other in the streets, I could definitely patch it up with my mans. But right. he said, but he said, first of all, what he said, what he had to look at is the people you around, how much do they really know about you? And then what vibes or what do you give off to another person? To make them feel that way. That's true. So just like, and I felt, I felt him on that because I'm like, in my own situation, with my homeboy, right? I don't, I don't hate the nigga. I don't want to see the nigga go to jail. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I still like his baby mama and his son's post. I fuck with, I mean, I fuck with Nikki. Like, that's my, that's my, you know, like, we all still cool. 
I might not fuck with him like that, but I ain't hating. I ain't mad. But when the shit all went down, I had to look, take a deep dive and look at self. Like, how could a nigga feel like they was cool coming at you like that? Like, you know, I got, I got, I got four homies. God damn it. That 20, 30 years plus. Well, 30 years plus. And we didn't call each other all type of bitch ass niggas. We done, you know, we, we done, we, we done stopped fucking with each other so many times. You know what I'm saying? Just like this situation. Right? Right. Right. And, 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 and I ain't addressed it yet. Because I'm thinking, like, should I really have to? Right. You know? The discussion of said block. So, so when the shit had went down, like with my with, with the with my other associate, when they revealed to me a way or a thought pattern of me that I didn't agree with. I had to assess the relationship. And you know what I came up with? What you come up with? There was shit that I ignored that told me who I was dealing with. Uh. There was shit that I looked past in the sake of that's my dog, that's my guy. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm a very loyal person. If I fuck with right, you, I fuck right. with you. <clears throat> well, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I used to. But uh after I thought about the things that I chose to ignore, I ultimately decided that that connection wasn't worth mending. Right, it was right. better left where it was. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Which means I that, which means that it shouldn't have been where it was. That's real. Right? So, I don't know. I guess this became another Chop It Up episode. Cause this is a uh, keep it P podcast where we take news, <laughs> everyday situations and occurrences, and show how one could have and could not have been keeping it P. I'm always here with my host. Go ahead, host with your crispy ass. Go ahead, tell them, tell them what's up, baby. Now you got something there, buddy. You keep bringing back the uh, you keep bringing back the uh, the tight old school rap shit. I'm fucking with that. You did the diddly 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 diddly. Hold up, you did the diddly 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 d. You did you did uh you did uh uh try the try oh the X Clan. Sissy. <laughs> All right, I'm fucking with that, fam. You gotta do. And now you got the KR. I, 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 I fuck with that. I fuck with that. That was nice. Hey, do we have a story for him? Cause I was just chopping it up on some real shit. Do we got a story? Hey man. Uh, yeah, man. Hey, we can talk about bullying. Oh the, the, right. The, the okay. Father. So let me uh let me line this up for everybody to the way I understand it. And if you need to, you know, drop a fact or two out the article, please be my guest. But uh, he hit me with this story today about a black girl that was being bullied by a black boy, and the black girl's father took it upon himself to go investigate what the issue might be in the other household. 
upon arriving at the other household, he witnessed uh, the younger, the, the said uh, uh, bully and roughed him up a little bit. Said bully's uh, big brother got the strap and blamed the dad. Very sad. True story. True story. Father of five, 35 years old. R.I.P. R.I.P., brother. Especially if it's somebody, you know, at the hands of another black man. But let's not all be, let's not be fooled by this black on black crime myth because it doesn't exist because death is proximity. White people kill white people. Asian kill people, kill Asian people. Mexican people kill Asian people. Black people kill black people. There's not a big epidemic. Yes, we have misguided youth that motherfuckers need to get a hold of. But I'm finna say this though, cuz. As a 35 year old man, you got, you, you just supposed to have some wisdom and some tactfulness. Now, I understand that you are the protector of your daughter. I got four of them. And a wife, so five. <laughs> right. Uh, but, being a 35-year-old man, you supposed to know what it is out in these streets, first off. Second of all, you got to put yourself in that other parent's shoes. And if you had the girl, or I mean the boy, and the girl's father came over and put his hands on your little boy, you can't just do that. You can't, but this was the second time, though. Now, listen, I, I, listen already. I understand that, but guess what? I'm finna take it deep on you. You ready? Let's go. I need niggas to keep that same energy for everybody else that hurt black kids, too. That's real. I need that same energy. Niggas is so quick to go nut up on the same color person. But the palm, but the palm colored people get the pass. They get the pusher kid, check for the phone, all that. True. They get the snatcher kid up, body slam them, knock them out, body snatch them all out the desk, shoot them in the park for having the BB gun. Come on now, wrestle yeah. him to the ground, shoot him in the chest. Come yeah. on now. I need that same motherfucking energy, cuz. All the time. You going to go nut up on this little boy, but if I bet you a little boy was palm colored, you would have used some restraint, though. I believe that's true, but the wife said that he did. Huh? He said, she, the wife said it's bluff, and the husband did put no hands on the little boy. Okay. That's what she said. But I believe that this was the second time that you done talked to them folks over there. You was frustrated. And you told hey, look, over there and, and you know how around. the black conversation go. Because the first time it said, he said, Now look, I want y'all to get this together because I don't, I, if the next time, <laughs> you already know how that conversation went. <laughs> you know. Okay. Jokes about the brother losing his life. No, we're not joking. But we just saying, you know how we be on the conversation. Put yourself in them shoes, which is a sign of empathy. Really? But, 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 but. But we gonna keep it P. I'm keeping it P. There's an underlying issue here. Fair enough. Self hate. Mm. On both sides. On both sides. Now, in, including the adolescents. On both, on all sides. Yes, sir. The boy shouldn't have been fucking with the girl. You can't necessarily say that the girl was peaches and cream either. No, you can't say that. Nah, because they got mouths on them and they sock niggas and kick niggas and hit niggas and do that shit. I know. 
I got one. Yeah, I got one and I witnessed it. <laughs> I'm talking about my little 14 year old got this little nigga named Robert. Little, 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 little cute, remind me of myself ass nigga. Too smooth, face ass nigga. <laughs> and, and look, when they get around each other, it's all motherfucking domestic. I'm like, why the fuck is y'all so violent? Would y'all keep your hands off each other? Like, that's not cool to play. Like, what are y'all doing? Like, that's not the kind of relationship y'all should have. Right. So, 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 I'm speaking from first hand. Right, you're right. And then, you know, dad has to protect the baby girl. Yeah. Then if he... And we don't know what the you know alleged. Why? Well, well, we, the cables to him. Well, we don't know what the, what the protect my baby. We don't know what the son looked like. Or the brother. Yeah. But we do need to start teaching our uh, young men to keep their fucking hands to themselves. To the, to to the, 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 the lady. Uh, yeah, queen. man, that shit ain't cool. Yeah, on, I ain't never been no uh, no beater. If I got a beat on you, bitch, nah. I don't want you. Not all day long. I ain't fucking with you. Hey, before I hit you, I quit. I'll be a gone, a gone motherfucker. I ain't, you ain't finna be up around me with no black ass eyes and shit. Hey, I'm gonna be the palm coming on. If I bust his lip, I can't get no dome, so I don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, KRPP. Right, it just don't make no sense. <laughs> Oh man, I, at least we can laugh, man, off of this uh this terrible situation, man. Two more brothers gone, man. Straight up. And well, too t- soon. Tell them where they can find 35 you. Thirty-five years old, twenty years old, gone too soon. Tell them where they can find you at Tease. Tease Von Savage, Melanated People. Right. Tease Von Savage.com coming home. That's right. Hey, shout out Master P. He yeah. said, "Get your own. Get yeah, our so, own." So, okay, so since we're trying to get our own, and if you fuck with this show, uh, I'm sure that the cash app and the PayPal is in the comment section. Go ahead, put your money where your mouth is, and support this great comment because we don't have sponsors and all that shit. And we trying to make this shit happen two different time zones, getting it in, staying consistent. I'm Jay Lava. You can check my J Lava page out if you like music. I do beats and shit. Uh, oh, hot lava! <laughs> I got a, uh, I got my fucking Facebook group, which is Hot Lava Beats, and I fuck with Instagram sometime at J Lava Beats, and I just started TikTok, so J Lava Hot on t- TikTok. Check me out. Your TikTok and your don't stop, right? Yeah, my my daughter made me do that. Okay, okay. But it was but it was actually the right move though. I put the walking in my pocket up there. That shit got a hundred thousand views on it already. And get okay, got, got me about a thousand thousand uh followers. So you not wrong with that. That's yeah, not too bad. Look, why a white boy wrapped the book? after me and got like 4 million views on that motherfucker or some shit like that and look why was my people in my comment section like he stole this from you we put in this comment section no Jay Lava did this first that was pretty cool though it is though shout out shout out to all my fans that was fucking with me and this uh hashtag KIPP and we out my my, uh, 